Reba mushimi imana goreti hikore ngiye mu byimana None mpagaza hanga ndimo kuririmba imbere y'abantu b'imana imana yaremye Murumva imana idashoboye dukomera imana amashimi imana nyama Bahonye imana Na uyu munsi uracyura imana byanze bikunze ibyanze kwemera ngo bizagira gute
Aba tu chiri kumwe haleluya. Nonjere ndiri imbe changu mgana niwe. Gira mujenzi wa yungi mibere hoya wima anira izi. Imibere hoya chima anijizite. Imani jizite. Murabo ni mani tadukunda. Banwara manigara majiva kubitani migeri barguana. None yesu ya raba shoboyi. Dokomeri imana mashitu yivujiri zimundu. Iyi imana ya chuu. Ibida shoboyi ya banu imana ya raba shoboyi. Haleluya. Yitu za amuri yondiri imbo. Abasabo kuberi mana tuherezi chuo hiro mana ya chishimu kukuizi mibere hoyacho mana ni himbazi halaluya yigeze ya ukira yeremia na kumenyo chiro rusol turiri mbe irongeri ukira ya kwa. Come on, 
Imana mashimi beno ya chimani raizi. Aha. Ayo mashari hehewe, 
Ayo mashari hehe sha Yari nzaba wa shitsiwa Ayo mashina ayo nomba Ayo mashari hehe we Nimureke tufugi mana Imana ya rahabaye Imana ya ratubote Amashi Yego 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 Ayo mashari hehe we Iye mana tuyivuge Ya turindi ya basore Tiruko, ya turindi ya bana Ayo mashari hehe sha Nasha kayo mashi yanyu Nasha kiso mbundu we Nasha kisi mbundu we Imani mana we Mani mungu chini imana Imana Jehovah Shama Imana Nero Himu Imana yara tugobuti Imana yara tugaburi Muriku mamuruko Iri indaba nyarwanda Ira tugaburi aturaja Kani tutafa mundu Mumbi zombaraga, ayo mashari hehe we, ne mumbo chire ye manat, imani mana we, imani mana sha, imana nara yiwonye, imana yadu hagazeho, mumbo chire ye mana, zikuri na mana we, zikuri na mana we, zikuri na mana we, kwesa tu simu kesi muka, tu vuga ye mani ziku, ayo mani he, ayo haku chire ya. Nimonyi chini zey, mani zikuri, uzikuri da, uzikuri. Mana we, uzikuri da mana we, waturi ndi yabana, nebo kuno mosaneza, abahimja muri he he, mese ni muzi ha, abahimisha tume mese ni muzi, tovugengi zikuri da, mese tu yivuge. Nasha kayo mashi, nasha kayo mashi, nasha kizo mundu, izo mundu we, ni mubi techele zeho, imani zikurina, yari nza babje yibatu, ya turinde yijihuku, yari nze perezida, yari nze kagabe, imani zikurina, imana we, heraki imani zikurina, yari nza wapolisi, ya turinde yijihuku, Yari nze na zada so Yari nze na bisibo Yari nze mudukudu Yari nze wa kata tawe Mano zikurinda Zikurinda mana we Ari kwimani zikurinda Zikurinda mana we Zuku za kusha za muru mpira Tuzungu za tumongi mani ziku Sama Ari kwa zikurinda Iye yari nza baba shiti Dore wa zikumtina Daki shimi enaje Imani zikurina Na homo kuma mashi tutine Ari kwa zikurina Zikurina mana we Zikurina mana we Zikurina mana we Ari kwa manu zikurina Zikurina mana we Imana yatu ya raturinze Abana baja kuisuri Kovide ya rimeze nabi Abana tutaja kusenga None doro kwa tukichayuku Imana ya ratu haka zeho Ariku zikurinda Zikurinda mana we Arelu Zema halelu Kwa meri mana mashimu yivujiri zimbuni mana yachu Amen Uri mana ya duwa gazeho nitu kwa hapa Uri mana ya turi nzabandi baraji ya tuka turewa Ari kwa kome se kudua garara wa kujia kutoe tu raha hano bishi mirgu, shi mna Yesu. Kwa haridu fe tu mezenavi, abanu kwa haridi ndajiye, na uzima, na hepo. Ari kura njia juu tujiri la neza, utu hiki huko chizima, utu hitorero, du agaza tu vugima na na handi wa visanga, ari kutkuwege, du agaza tu vugima na gima na ya chizi kurinda, ni ba kushimire, ba kuvujiri simhondo, ba kukomera masi, uri mana tu renge ye, uri aya ya 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 ya, tu ra kushimire, uri mani chizi nguara, muri litera ni ra chizi nguara, uri mani du agaza ho, uhimbazwe. Umukozi wa wajie kufuga. Afuga giri shwe na hawe. Mbara kazi mana zibu gara gareho. Urinzi kwa witeka mumuweho. Mbara kazi juru zutigote. Turgu anyishi mbara kazi wa daimoni. Ngizi na rja yesu. Awa daimoni mbara tumawa numufisha mbara jimana. Ndaba chashe. Ndabiru kanye. Ngizi na rja yesu. Urinzi kwa mani mbara natuwe. Tuku kome mashitu kufujilishi mbara ngizi na rja yesu. Amen. Muraho. My name is Kyle. 
yitwa Kyle and I'm a youth pastor in the UK uh, and before I officially start, I wanted to give you an example of my experience of Rwanda. Uh, so everywhere we drive, this is what people say. Uh, and I guess I am a Mazungu. Um, but I wanted to tell you before we start that we're, we're more similar than you think. And I love this country so much, this is my second time being here. So it's great to be sharing with you this, small, this afternoon. Uh, so today I come to share with you a message of hope that I believe can transform your life. I'm a Christian, I believe in Jesus. And I believe he loves you so much. And I'm going to be using the Bible to speak this, this afternoon. And I wanted to give you um, a bit of an example, some explanation as to what the Bible is. Because I know some of you will be Christians and some of you won't be Christians. And this book is the most powerful book I know. It's written in 2,200 languages. Over the last two years, this book was sold every second of every minute. It's the most smuggled book, it's the most stolen book. And more people have lost their life over this book than any other book. And this book tells us that this book is the inspired word of God. It tells us that it is a lamp to our feet. And when people speak this book over people, incredible things happen. And this book is full of people like you and me. People who stuff up, people who mess up, people who fail. But more than anything else, this book brings you life. And if you heard a lot of people on this stage speaking about Jesus today, and the truth is we are just ordinary people, but our lives have been transformed by an extraordinary God. So I'm going to open the Bible up with you this, um, this afternoon. And I'm going to be reading from the book of Ephesians. So if you, um, I'm going to turn to Ephesians 2 and I'm going to read um, and um, we're going to have that translated as well. So Ephesians 2. Verse 16. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins. In which, you, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. And you 
All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. Kandi natwe twese twahoze muri bo dukurikiza ibyo kamere yacu yifuza tugakora ibyo kamere n'imitima byacu byishakira kandi kubwa kavutire yacu twari abo kugirirwa umujinya nk'abandi bose But because of his great love for us God who is rich in mercy Ariko kuko Imana ari umutunzi w'imbabazi yaduhinduriye bazima na Kristo made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in our transgressions it is by grace you have been saved Kubgurukundo rwinshi yadukunze ubwo twari dupfuye tuziza ibicumuro byacu ubuntu nibwo bwadushijije and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus Nuko ituzurana nawe itwicaranya nawe mwijuru mu buryo bw'umwuka kuturi muri Kristo Yesu in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus Kugira ngo mu bihe bizaza Izerekana ubutunzi bw'ubuntu bwayo ubuhebuje byose itugirira neza muri Kristo Yesu. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourselves but it is a gift from God. Natsijijwe n'ubuntu kugo kwizera ni byavuye kuri mwe ahubwo ni impano y'Imana. Not by work so that no one can boast. Ni byavuye no kumirimo kugira ngo hatagira umuntu wirarira. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Koko turawe yaremye ituremye imirimo myiza muri Kristo Yesu. Iyo Imana yitegure cyera kugira ngo tuyigenderemo. Hallelujah. And the verse I want to bring with to you this morning or this afternoon, sorry, is Ephesians 2:10. Ubutumwa abazaniye n'ubutumwa buri mu Befeso ibice bibiri umurongo wa 10 that all of us here are God's handiwork. Created to do good works. And I don't know about you, I don't know if you feel good or if you feel bad. But what I know is there's a man named Jesus and he can bring you life. Ariko cyazi neza nuko hari umugabo witwa Yesu kandi umugabo ashobora kuzana ubuzima. And the guy who wrote this book was a man named Paul. Umuntu wanditse kino gitabo ni umuntu witwa Paul. And he wrote many books in the Bible. Kandi yanditse ibitabo byinshi muri Bibiliya. But he wrote this book to a church in Ephesus. Ariko yanditse kino gitabo acyandikiye itorero ryitwa Efeso. And they were worshiping other gods. Kandi abo bantu basengaga izindi mana zitari imana. And I wanted to tell you that if you do something that Jesus is against you are against Jesus Arashaka kubwisa kuri uyu munsi yuko nuko ari kintu kitemeranye n'Imana uburi gukora ibintu bitemeranya na Yesu The Bible tells us that we can't be lukewarm we can't be in the middle Ijambo ry'Imana iravuga ngo ntago ushobora kuba mo hagati nago waba akazuyazi ahubwo ugomba kuba ushushye cyangwa ukabukonje And the first few verses talk about the people being dead the first the first few verses in the, the book of Ephesians talk about people being dead. Kandi ibice bya mbere umirongo ya mbere mu hano muri Efeso twasomye havugamo abantu bari mu byukuri barapfuye muri bo. But they weren't dead physically their hearts were still beaten. Mu byukuri nago bari barapfuye mu mubiri ahubwo bari barapfuye mu byumwuka. But they were dead spiritually. Bari barapfuye mu byumwuka. And I don't know about you I don't know if you feel alive uh, spiritually or, or whether you feel dead spiritually. Nago abizi neza nibo wumva mu buzima muri wowe mu mwuka wawe but this message today is for you Ariko ubutumwa bw'uyu munsi nubwawe In our culture we would say that they were following the ways of the devil Ah mu musho wabo bavuga ko aba bantu Paulo yavuze bari bari gukurikiza imigenzo ya Satan y'umubi And there's a great Bible verse in John 10:10 Kandi hariho ibya cyanditswe kiza kiri muri Yohana ibicucu mirongo ya 10 and it tells us that the thief comes to kill steal and destroy Kandi kivuga ko umujura aza kwiba no kwica But Jesus says that he has come to give us life and life to the full Ariko Yesu we yaje gutanga ubuzima kandi ubuzima bwuzuye So if we decide to not follow Jesus we are spiritually dead Ni duhitamo kudakurikira Yesu twadufuye mu byumwuka but hallelujah that we have the answer. 
ariko haleluya ko dufite igisubizo haleluya that jesus comes to give us life and you, life to the full yuko yesu aza kuduhereza igisubizo kandi igisubizo cyuzuye but my question is why do we choose to live as dead people why do we choose to take drugs? Why do we choose to have sexual relationships with our, uh, people who are not our husbands or wives? If Jesus offers us life, then why wouldn't we take it? And you see, I can relate to you. Because in my culture, there's so many things that I could choose to do that are bad for me. And I, know, and I know in your culture, that's the same as well. This guy Paul that I've been talking about wrote a few books in the Bible. And he wrote a book to the Romans. And he told them, do not conform to the patterns of this world. Basically saying, don't be like the people around you. And Paul is constantly writing to groups of people who need to follow Jesus. Who need to find life, who need to change. Why would I do the same as someone else in my village? If Jesus offers me a better way. Ephesians 2.10 God created us to do good works. It's not about us being perfect. Because we can't be perfect. But it's about us following Jesus' plan for our life. And I wanted to tell you this afternoon that your life is so precious. That you were created in the image of God. To do good works for him. And Paul, the guy who wrote so many books that I share about today. He had a crazy past. He had his own story just like so many of you. And Paul wanted to help people to be different, to change. To experience life. And life to the full. So Paul was a Jewish man. And he was going around killing Christians who believed in Jesus. And one day he was walking on the road to Damascus. When a light struck him, a voice, a voice spoke to him. And he was blinded. And he heard a voice from heaven say, Paul, Paul, why do you persecute me? And it was in that moment where Paul's life started to take a U-turn. He went from killing Christians to telling people about Jesus. And what's so funny is the Bible tells us that God says that Paul is my chosen instrument to go and tell others about who I am. Paul was created to do good works. But I know all you have a story. And for some of you, might, your story might include evil things. 
kandi ubwo bwana ushora kuba mu bintu bitari byiza maybe you feel spiritually dead ushora ku imunsi wumva arafuye mu buryo bw'umwuka but god comes to give you life ariko imana uyu munsi yaje kugira ngo igwehereze ubuzima you see paul's life was so much more than he thought ubuzima bwa paulo bwari bunini cyane kurusha uko we yatekerezaga and god opened his eyes to see that imana yamuhumu yamaso kugira ngo abashe kwibona and i believe this afternoon god is opening the eyes kandi yize ko muri uyu mugoro imana iri humura maso ubashe kubona of those who were created to do good works kugira ngo ubone imirimo myiza imana yakuremeye kugira ngo ukore and after paul's life was transformed na nyuma y'ukubuzwa bwa paulo buhinduka he told people to live a life worthy of the calling that he has received yarambiye ubuzima ukwiriye ubuhamagaro wabo and i don't know about you but what i know is that God has a plan for every single one of you. Kandi nagazi wowe amateka yawe ariko icyazi nuko Imana igufite umugambi mwiza. That this man that we hear about Paul. Yuko uyu mugabo turi kumva Paulo lived an evil life. Yewe ubuzima bubi. But in an instant his life was transformed. Ariko mwise gonda ubuzima bwe bwarahindutse. And Jesus offers you the same as well. Yesu aguhaya amahirwe nawe. And this Bible that I hold up by here kandi kitabo afashe kitwe bibilia brings us life chizana ubuzima jesus christ came for us yesu yaje kubgawe the reason that we can have life is because of him imamvu tubashe kubona ubuzima no kubera we this book was written kitabo cyanditswe to show people who jesus really was kugira ngo cyereke abantu uwo yesu ari we nyakuri and this might be the first time you've heard of him. Or it might be the thousandth time that you've heard of him. But he's in the business of changing people's lives. The reason that I get to stand here today in Rwanda is because God transformed my life. He showed me that I was created for good works. Yamweretse ko yaremewe ubuzima bw'imirimo myiza. And so are you too. Kandi nawe ni byo waremewe. But life is all about choices. Ariko ubuzima ugira amahitamo. We get to decide what road we take. Tugira amahirwe yo guhitamo inzira turi bufate. So will we choose Jesus? Ese turahitamo Yesu? Or will we choose the ways of the world? Cyangwa turabuhitamo inzira y'isi? 2000 years ago Jesus came. He lived a perfect life. And at the age of 33, he was hung on a cross. And the reason that he was hung on a cross was to die for us. He died so that we might live. He died so that we might live life to the full. He died so that we could experience what is truly like to live life to the full. So today you have an opportunity to accept the invitation. Uyu munsi ufite andi mahirwe yo kwakira ubutumwa. You see we're all the same. Twese tumeze kimwe. We all have to make decisions. Twese dufata ibyemezo. And I believe this is the best decision that you could ever make in your life. Kandi arizera ko angaya ari amahitamo aruta yandi yose wakizje rukora mu buzima bwa. That you were created to do good works. You go wareme we gukora imirimo myiza. And doing good works for Jesus is so much more than just working kandi gukora imirimo myiza kubwa Yesu ni byinshi kandi ibintu bigari following him means that our life is worth living kumukurikira bivushatse kuvuga ko ubuzima bwacu ukwiriye kubaho koko n'ubuzima bwiza iyo umukurikiye ugira ubuzima bwiza am i decide to follow Jesus iyo duhisemo ukurikira Yesu no longer do you have to live in bondage na ukurwa mu minyururu myinshi no longer do you have to have those chains around you but you can live in peace, in love, and in grace. So today there can be an exchange. Our evil for God's good.
ushobora gutanga ububi bwawe imana higuhereza ubwiza bwayo and our stories the things that we have done wrong in our past kandi ibi byose twakoze mu buhanya bwacu can be taken away by jesus yose yesu yaza kabitwara and he wants to take away those things arashaka kubitwara and he wants to give you new life ashaka kugwereza umuzima bushya new purpose imavu cyayo kubaho and a life that is worth living nuzima giza kandi bukwiriye kubaho and today you have the opportunity to do that uyu munsi ufite amahirwe yo kubikora you were created to do good works yakuremeye gukora imirimo myiza jesus came and died for you yaraje aragufira he died so that we might live yarafuye kugira ngo twebwe tubashe kubaho and now we have the opportunity to respond uyu munsi ufite amahirwe yo kwakira ubutumwa god loves it when his people say yes to him Imana irabikunda iyo uyibwiye yego yigutumiye and i'm just going to give another a chance for people to do that kandi age ugwereza mahirwe muri aka kanya kugira ngo ubashe kuvuga yego so like at the start i'm going to ask you to come to the front niba ushaka kuvuga yeso yego muri aka kanya aragusaba kugira ngo wigire imbere if you want to receive new life niba ushaka kwakira ubuzima bushashya and you want to follow jesus kandi ushaka kurikira yesu So we're going to come off the stage now and we'd love to pray for those people who want to say yes to follow in Jesus. Uh,